welcome to Lines on Design. I am Debbie Lines, and I am here today with a dear friend that I knew when she was little, and now she's all grown up, Andrea Antunis Hello. from Distinctive Granite and Marble. Thank you so much. Oh, my pleasure. We are having fun today. We are here at the warehouse, yes. and we're going to take a tour. We're going to talk about new products. We're going to talk about what you do. Um, no, like I said, I've known you forever, yes. known your family business, and I think that you are very special special in what you do and not a lot of people do it. Let's talk a little bit if we can about distinctive granite and marble. Okay. What sets you all apart? Well obviously we're family owned. Mm -hmm. um, my father and my brother travel all over the world and they hand select every single slab you see in this warehouse. Mm -hmm. So they're constantly traveling and then basically what I do is I wait for it to come in and then I get to pick it out and sell it to everybody else. So I mean I don't get to actually go there. But from a cutting edge point of view, your entire family, you, you've basically been raised on this. Yes. So you know what's new, price points, uh, where to use, what applications to apply Absolutely. for where. Mm -hmm. Let's talk, if we can, a little bit about some of the newer things that are going on okay. in the world of, of granite. And I have to ask you, because I walked in and I was like, Oh my gosh, that doesn't look like granite. What is this? This is a new product we're actually very, very excited about. It's a glass product. It's called Glass 2. I have to look at this. It's, Ooh, it's deep. Yes, it's actually 99% all recycled glass. Okay. And it, it, you can't stain it, you can't scratch it, you can use it in kitchen applications. Which bathrooms. you knew I was going to ask you yes, about. Yeah. everywhere. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's, it's definitely, it's probably just as durable as granite. So we're not looking at something as porous as marble. So it's definitely good for kitchen use, outdoor kitchens, everywhere. And, and also you're talking about, I mean, it's green. Yeah. Not literally, but... Yes, very. Okay, very. so it's a very green product, yes. too. And it comes in different colors. What are some of the colors? I love that pine over there. Yes, the pine is like a, a sea glass, kind mm -hmm. of a green Beautiful. color. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the mixed colors, too, like the black and white, which is... Um, over there, and yeah. then we've got a brown and, and white also. Okay. So there's lots of color combinations, but what's good is it's also translucent, just like onyx, so you can put a light behind it and you can light oh, it Oh, so you can backlight it. Yep, absolutely. So that'd be perfect even for a bar area. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's much more interesting, I think, when you really get close to it than just at first glance. Oh, absolutely. And also it's going to be, you know, laying flat, so you're going to be looking into it rather than looking up at it. Okay. So you can see all those pieces and, you know, the depth in the material. You know, we're talking about new trends and things like that, but I have to ask you, how do you work at Distinctive Granite Marble when it comes to, um, when I come in as a client or as a mm -hmm. designer, and I want, do I need to know what I what I want? Can you help me through the process? Can I actually come here to the warehouse? How does all that work? Oh, absolutely. What we like to do is, you know, for all of our clients, what I'll tell you is we'll give you directions, and okay. anytime you want me to come out with you or whoever else in well, our Well, you've office, got a great staff here, oh, too. Oh, absolutely. There's always mm -hmm. somebody here that can walk you around. If you're just passing through, if you're on your way to Savannah, you want to just stop by, there's always somebody that can walk you through and take down all the information and get it to us if you just want to wander around alone. But if you want to make an appointment, I'm literally out here probably twice a week. And I know this is really a show and tell kind of show at Lines on Design, but one of the things that, that sets you apart, and for my clients at least I've been really excited about, is the way that you price your piece. Absolutely. Everything is priced per square foot. So you're not paying for the entire slab. You're only paying for what you use. And, and it, what does that mean? How does that work? Let, let's, use, let's use this for example. Well, let's use this just for fun because we can, this new blue Louise. Louise. Yes. Okay. Well, basically what you would do is say you were doing a 86 inch vanity top by 21 inches, which okay. is 22 and a half. So you're going to do a backsplash and all of that. So you're only paying for the portion of the material that you're using. So the rest of the slab is not something that's going to be scrapped. Okay, so what I hear you saying, just so I'm clear, because this mm -hmm. is huge, and I think a lot of people don't realize it. No, you, and you've said it to me a million times, yeah. but but now it, it, it's making sense to me, is that yeah. I don't have to buy a whole slab for a wee tiny little little um, right. area. Right. I can just buy the hunk that I want. Exactly. So you don't have to basically go to like a boneyard and pick right. out somebody's leftovers. You still have this huge inventory to select from. Exactly. Whether you're doing a kitchen or a powder room. Exactly. And I think, it, I mean, we've got clients in here now walking yep. all over and there are so many things it's not just granite and marble no. but it's this new glass product too and there's lots of new um, travertines onyx there's tons of new materials and colors to choose from I mean we're literally getting containers 
weekly. Let me ask you another question. Oh, this is so great. I love having your captive because I can ask you all the questions I've always wanted to ask you. When I come in with a client or as a client, mm -hmm. okay, what information do you want me to come armed with that will actually help you in making my uh, application correct? Well, we always say um, for your help to bring a cabinet, whether you're doing a remodel or, you know, you're doing a brand new kitchen, it doesn't matter. If you've, you're using your existing cabinets, just bring a drawer it? out. Okay, Basically, it helps you just because okay. you can you can envision your kitchen better than I can because you've been in there before. Okay. So anything that helps you visualize your setting will be helpful. So, I mean, if, you, if it means bringing in a, you know, a cushion or, okay. you know, a window, one of those mm -hmm. curtains or, or a anything that you use to decorate your kitchen around, I recommend to bring it in. Um, also, if you've got a drawing of your kitchen layout or whatever you're using. Bath so, or, exactly. Uh -huh. So we have an idea of what you're, you know, you're looking at as far as how many slabs. So we okay. can go ahead and tag them with your name on it for you when you come in. And is that important why? Why? I mean, I'm looking here at the CD Volcano, which yes. is like one of the prettiest mm -hmm. pieces I've seen in a long time, too. And we're walking by it now, but we'll make sure we get close-ups of yes. all these, too. Well, what's good, as you can see here, there's an entire block of it. So, okay. And they're actually, if you look closely, they're numbered. So this is 26, oh. 27, 25, 24, 23. So they're, you know, they're sliced like a loaf of bread. So block is cut and then it's sliced. So the grain runs right through. So every piece is going to match. Okay, that makes so much sense. So that's, I want right consecutive. Exactly. So if you need, let's say, two slabs for your kitchen, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and pull 27 and 26. Okay. You can look at them. We'll tag those both and put them aside. So those two are yours. They're cut actually in order for you. Okay, we've looked at the glass. We've looked at a couple of the new um, colors, colors mm -hmm. that you're interested Absolutely. in. What I'd love to do is take a break or at least walk this way and okay. look at a couple of other things. So come on with us. Lines on Design, and Andrea and I have been having a great time. Poor Freddie's over here holding this fabulous slab. Yes. But let's talk for a second about him because he's been with you for a long time. Yes. He actually, he has been with us for nine years. Nine years. Oh my gosh. Yes. Nine years? That's yes. amazing. And he basically, you said it's like, uh, he's like the pilot. He kind of has charge Absolutely. of I mean, he's the only person I would trust to move a crane over my head. So. It's pretty impressive. I mean, this entire warehouse and just the systems that are in place or involved are great. Absolutely, yeah. Every slab is, I mean, 800 pounds. Exactly. So. And we've been talking a little bit about the way distinctive granite marble does business and what we can expect as designers or as clients or as consumers. Right. Um, want to talk as we were walking down the aisles I fell in love with this and you were like oh gosh this is a good one to yes. show let's talk a little bit about this particular slab okay this is super white it's actually a distinctive exclusive material um, it's a granite actually believe it or not okay. for all those clients that I'm sure you know of that mm -hmm. like the look of marble you know the, the white Carrera, Carrera yeah. the you know all the white with the gray veins and but you know marble's not good in a kitchen right this material keeps up just like granite in a kitchen so it has the durability of granite but it has the look of marble to me it's classic but with all the new driftwood colors I mean absolutely. it is absolutely gorgeous and amazing okay question for you when I come in again I'm mm -hmm. gonna do this in my kitchen yeah what information do you ask of me as far as what about edging? What about honing? Are there different finishes? Is Absolutely. it just, here's your marble, here you go, blue? Right, no. Okay. We'll go over the different finishes. Now we've got, of course, the polished, and then Which is this, right here. Right, so it just comes with the, the shine that's on there. Okay. Or there's honing. 
Which is? Which um, we actually don't use chemicals. Everything's done by hand. It's a machine that takes the polish off. And, and I'll tell you from a design point of view, I see more and more of the hone, which is a really matte surface. So it's again, very popular, yeah. Isn't it? Yes, and I think definitely. when you think of granite and you think of the high polish, it doesn't always have to be that way. No, and absolutely. That's another option for like a kitchen. If somebody has to use the marble, what I worry about so much with marble is that high gloss sheen. Mm -hmm. It gets eaten off so easily. I mean, you wouldn't even believe the things that could eat the polish off. So if you take the finish off to begin with, you don't have to, that's one less thing you have to worry about in a kitchen. If you're, you know, if that you're in love sense. with that marble look, mm -hmm. then that's always an option. Or we have a new finish, which is leathered, which is basically bringing out the texture that's in the material. Oh, acid. that's what we were, gonna, we were talking about. Yes. See if we could see yes. later the leather texture. Well, I think what it does is it, you really realize how diverse this product is. Absolutely. All right. Talk to me a little bit, if you will, about price points. When you're looking at, and I think we've kind of, we're surrounded by a lot of different price points. Right. And what's good, actually, is that um, in the warehouse now, you'll see that all of the materials have a, a name and also the stars on there. So that kind of sets you at what price point you're at. So it starts at two stars or it starts at one star and it goes up to four. So mm -hmm. you kind of know what level, as well as whoever's walking you around will definitely kind of guide you in the price point. What guides the level? Is it is it the availability? Absolutely. I know this is exclusive. The glass is exclusive. It's, it's not even the, the, the fact that we're the only ones that have it. It's, it's the availability as far as the vendors go. So let's say this material is only owned by two two quarries in the entire world, then they choose mm -hmm. who they want to sell to and how much they want to charge. So that's basically how, how they price is how we price. And I have to tell you, and, and I'm sure you experience this with your dad all the time, I know when I first talked with him, the stories he told and the picture book Oh, yes. that he can actually express is amazing about the way they you all do this. Absolutely, yeah. We I go from start to finish. I mean, literally from quarry to install. It's really, 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 really interesting. And I think when we're talking about what sets you all apart, mm -hmm. that's what sets you apart. Absolutely. Do you do all of your manufacturing here too with, with the, um, actually, the kitchen part? Um, not here, at our shop. Is okay, where at the shop. Is okay. Done. Yeah. And you know, we have all those machines, which would be nice to go to one day, too. Oh, we'll have to do that. Yeah, oh, we'll definitely. come to the. Yes, we'll have a machine day. We will not be wearing no. heels that. No. <laughs> <laughs> we will be doing much more casual. This is a two star. Let's talk about some of these more traditional. Are you seeing differences in what people are gearing up toward or enjoying? Absolutely. You know, there's there's new colors, actually, which you'll find there's trends and things like that. But what I try and gear people towards is your personal kitchen. You know, so if, if grays work in your kitchen, let's let's kind of concentrate on the mm -hmm. grays. It's not, oh, this is in style, let's do this now. Okay. And there Makes are so sense. many to choose from now that there are so many different colors. There's so many colors to kind of tie in and stay neutral. Mm -hmm. So even though green is very green, it's not a bold green that you're going to walk in and go, oh, the kitchen is green. It's still a neutral way of using color. Do we as consumers or we as designers have an idea of what we want when we come in? Or do you try to encourage us to, to have an open mind and really take a look at what's out? Out there how does well, that work you can see the the exclusive and I mean enormous inventory that we have here so I always say to keep an open mind and try not to get overwhelmed and of course bring cabinets whatever right. you need to you know kind of tie you back into your own kitchen but I, I definitely like people to stop out here first to just do a general walkthrough to get a feel of what we do have to offer all right we talked about finishes we talked about the hone the leather the mm -hmm. shine edging Edging. Okay, so what we do is in our prices per square foot, we include four standard edges. Which are? Which are the full bull nose. This is a test. <laughs> right. <laughs> the full bull nose. Okay. The half bull nose. Okay. The eased edge. Right, which, is just which I squared, like. Polished eased. Yeah. And then the quarter inch bevel, which is the squared edge with a quarter inch beveled off. And then we have, I believe, actually now four upgraded edges. Okay. Four or five, actually. Mm -hmm. We're getting new edges all the time. Mm -hmm. So there's upgraded edges, and what's good is that they're all the same price, a linear foot. So they're all an upgraded price, but they're all $30 a linear foot in addition. From a trend point of view, what are you seeing as a trend with well, that? Well, what I recommend to my clients is, you know, $30 a linear foot is an upcharge. So what I like to do is kind of mix and match. I like okay. to use an upgraded edge maybe Smart. on the island and then pair it with a standard edge that works nicely together. And here, what you just said is a huge take home. This is why you have a professional. No, I'm dead serious. It's the same with a designer. Yeah, absolutely. My job is your, as to be your advocate as, as your client, and that's what you're doing. Here's where you spend your money that people can see it. 
here's where you can be cost effective. I mean, it, honestly, that is the take home right here. Uh, definitely, and because we only price per square foot, it kind of leaves you a little bit of space to go, Wiggle room. you know what, we can spend that extra $30 yes. linear foot on the island or on the ledge instead of just using a standard edge everywhere. And there are so many upgraded edges that work nicely mm -hmm. with standard edges. We're going to take a quick break here on Lines on Design, and we're going to sneak back. I want to go back. We have to see the mascots. Yes. There's a whole cast of characters, and I think it might be interesting for you to all to really see where things come in and how yeah. it works. So let's walk back there, okay. talk about a couple more trends that are out there and see some of the remaining uh, slabs. That'd be fun. Okay. Yeah. on design and we're having a lot of action over here. We've got yeah. the three mascots, the three dogs that are here. Oh look, they're like, are you talking, talking about, about us? <laughs> <laughs> but this is fun. I mean, it's an amazing place. You know, there are four of us who are standing here and I think, you know, for Karen, for Mike, for you and I, well, not for you, but it's, it is amazing the girth the breadth, the depth, what yeah, you have, the absolutely. inventory, it's almost overwhelming. It is. It is. I mean, if you're used to our other warehouse in Hilton Head, I mean, and that was so much, I mean, I remember everybody walked out and go, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. it is probably six times the size. How often do you all have containers or shipments come in? How often do you see turnover? I would say once a week you get a container. No, more than, more than that. that. Now, maybe it's twice, twice a week we get containers in. I mean, containers are loads of granite. So, I mean, we're getting containers in weekly. And I think what you said during the break is also don't hesitate to come in when you're ready and you find a slab that you like, mark it as yours. Absolutely. Because yeah. that means, you know, you might not get another chance. Right. I mean, it, it used to be, you, you know, you think you look at 30 slabs in one, you know, one lot and yeah. you think, oh, I've got time, I've got time. But between now and a week, you have no idea how quickly that stuff can go. We've talked a lot about finishes. We've talked a lot about edging. We've talked a lot about different materials. Mm -hmm. One of the things we talked about was the, you were talking about the leather. Right. And this is actually a leathered slab. Look at this, so guys. what I love about this, and I love to use this in outdoor applications. I actually use it in my parents' outdoor kitchen. Okay. And I mean, we grill every night. Mm -hmm. If you use your grill, this is the finish to use. Okay. You don't see, I mean, grease, you don't see oil, you don't see pollen, you don't see anything. And water just basically beads right up on it. Talk to me about um, the difference between using a tool to take the sheen off, between leathering, well, depth Well, we don't of color. use acid. Okay. So, I mean, we don't use any acid bases, we don't use any chemicals in our stone. Everything is done by a machine or by hand. So, this is all done by a machine. Mm -hmm. It actually brushes the texture of the stone to bring out its natural texture. Um, what's good about leathering it as opposed to honing it is that when you hone, you take the, the finish off. And what it winds up doing is almost leaving like a film over it. Okay, that um, makes sense. Right, unless you enhance it, which when you enhance it, it basically just looks like it's wet. Right. But when you hone it, it almost looks like if it's black, it looks like chalkboard. It does, right. exactly. When you leather it, you keep the depth of the color. So even though you're changing the finish, mm -hmm. you're still keeping the richness of the color. You know, that's huge. I really hadn't paid attention to that before. That makes so much sense. And you really get a lot of the depth, the richness. Absolutely, yeah. And, and I mean, you can you can really feel it. Yeah, you I mean, honest, you can feel it in, in every material. We've you can been leather anything. Well, and we've been talking a lot about kitchens. Yes. Okay, where else can I use a hard surface like this? Everywhere. I mean, I said outdoor kitchen. That's what I'm like. <laughs> powder room. <laughs> okay. Um, you Wait, can powder use room? It. Yes. Outdoor like kitchen. Master bath. Master bath. All guest bathrooms. Okay. Um, I want to talk about outdoor kitchens for a minute. Are you all seeing more and more oh, yes. outdoor kitchens? Is that sort of? Yes, yes. It's the best thing to use outside. Like I said, I mean, you don't see pollen. It's the easiest thing to maintain. You don't have to seal it every year. You don't okay. have to clean it every day. I mean, the, the maintenance is just awesome. And like I said, a leather finish is what I like to use outside. Well, and I have to tell you, the other thing, so you don't even think about, using a piece of onyx as a decorative or as an accessory where you just suspend. That's the only way I would recommend to use onyx, mm -hmm. too. I mean, I not just because of the it. price, but because you know the durability yes. on it. I mean, it's 
It's very it's fragile. Very, mm -hmm. very, very fragile. But it makes the most incredible focal point, don't you think? Definitely. And used in small applications, which is what I would recommend, like a small powder room mm -hmm. or a small, you know, deco space. And, you know, I wanted to walk over to this. This is, this is, or at least take a quick look, because this is a piece of travertine. Yes. It's actually, um, it's walnut. So it's a nice golden brown. Okay. Rather than what we're used to seeing in like a noche, which is like a cold. Here, I'm going to stand you over here because okay. you know what you're talking about. I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> which is like a, a cold brown. The, the warmer tones in a walnut bring out the gold. So I also like to use this on a floor rather mm -hmm. than just your regular ivory travertine color. So you've got more of a, a warmer base, but you're also not darkening the room and making it smaller. What, yeah, what do you feel? How do you feel about um, lights and darks again from a trend point of view? Are the rich busier granites coming, not I, coming back, they're really popular. I, I would say so, yeah, and what we have now is that, I mean, back, let's say, five years ago, there weren't too many light colors to choose from. Right. I mean, as we went over with the, the super white, there are so many colors, as far as the light colors to choose from now, that you can go light, like that, that leathered piece, I and, love it. and still have rich colors in there. Well, Andre, even the one that we're going to, we'll do a close-up of this in a minute. Uh, the that, it is what gorgeous. Is that? It is a marvel. It's brand new from um, from Italy, actually. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous marble. I mean, you know the Bresciana Sciata. Yes. It looks beautiful as far as movement, but it's got those salmony pink colors. Right, in right, there. right, right. This is this, pure. Exactly. I said it looks like mink to me. It, it really does. does. I mean, it looks like like a river, like sand almost, like layers of sand. But what's good is that it's you're still in your creams and browns and neutral colors. It is one of my favorite materials right now. Once again, we've about exhausted our time. We are here again with Andrea Antunis, Distinctive Granite and Marble. We've had a tour of this incredible warehouse. Please know that these are professionals, and if you have a chance or you have a question, don't hesitate to call. Thank you. Oh, no What problem. a treat come to back. come out here. I know it's beautiful. <laughs> it really is. Thank you all for joining us here on Lines on Design.